Hello everybody, this is Hybrid. And this is the White Sheep. Yes, so today we'll be bringing you a review of Young Justice, episode 6 of season 2, titled Bloodlines. It's really fitting because you get to see uh, the four generations of Flashes here. I mean, they're obviously not all from the same family, but you know, they all wear the mantle of Flash. So, they, yeah. are, they are connected. So. Yeah, I'm actually... I was kind of waiting for when they would have Impulse in the series yep. because they have like Beast Boy and it seems as if this is kind of their Earth 16's version of the Justice League now. So it was it was yeah. practically about time mm-hmm. for them to do this. I mean if you look at the uh I mean if you if you've seen our review of Teen Titans uh issues 1 through 5 I think I referenced Bart Allen being in Young Justice maybe. Who knows? Yeah. I think he right. did. So yeah, but uh it's really interesting that I mean, it was a really good look at some of the more backstory of this show. I mean, I, that's one of my favorite parts of it is that it actually goes so deep into the mythology. But, you know, I want a pretty solid episode. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was really yeah, it held up. simple, and they executed it well. It's, ever, it's really interesting. It seems like Bart is wearing a facade, really, because yeah. you see him in the future, and he's, like, serious, and he has a mission set. But then he goes to the past, and now he starts acting all, like, wacky and, you know, it's kind of similar to what Kid Flash was like in the first season, but much more extreme, I'd say. Yeah. I mean, you can definitely tell that he's younger than everybody else just because of the way he's making jokes. Uh, I mean, even next to Beast Boy, he seemed very uh, kind of whimsical. Yeah. And Beast Boy is really the comic relief for Young Justice now that Wally West has taken a break. So. Yeah, and they really show that too. They show that Wally's not really up in his game. Yep. Where they're running, and not only was Barry passing him, which makes sense, but Bart was passing him and lapping him. So. Mm. And you know the uh, another reason that Bloodlines was a pretty fitting name was, spoiler alert, in the very end of the episode, Red Arrow finds the true Roy Harper. I like he the was baby. Clone from. Yeah, the baby was pretty funny. Real daddy. I want to say something's something's up there, so I'm not yeah. sure if uh, I don't know. I I kind of get the feel the feeling that Cheshire is kind of playing him, but yeah, I feel I like know. they should go into that more, like the yep. Cheshire thing, and they probably we'll will. I bet hopefully they will. Except for honestly, I was kind of, and this might be just me, but I'm a big Wally West as the Flash fan, mm-hmm. so I was hoping when I heard it was a Flash centric episode that Flash, Barry Allen Flash would die and Wally West would end up taking the mantle kind of in his honor. I don't mimic this uh, feeling because uh, I, I personally like Barry Allen a little bit. But um, the one thing I see is just you, in this episode you see the time travel with uh, Bart Allen going back uh, to the past because his world is uh, in ruins. And you assume that it's because uh, the Flash dying has something to do with uh, the destruction of Earth, or at least the devastation of Earth. So, I mean, you get to see how important Flash is, and I mean, that kind of was interesting to me, because in every single, and this is just my thought, in every single crisis that DC has had, Flash has played some kind of part. I mean, you go to Crisis on Infinite Earths, he was running through time on the magical space treadmill, and then... In Final Crisis, he was chasing the bullet that ended up killing, or uh, that ended up killing, who was it? Um, I don't know. He ended up killing, so the, he was chasing the bullet that ended up starting the whole thing. Uh, and of course, last but not least, uh, Flashpoint. So Yeah, which still is kind of shaky on how he is really, I guess, the one that brings three different universes together with Pandora's help, I guess. Yeah. But that's not what the video is about, so we're probably not going to go into that. I just, feel like, I just feel like a crisis is coming. Yeah. Something happening. Which would actually be interesting to see on this show, and how they do that. Except for one thing I, I kind of like is, I feel the clone of Roy Harper, or not the clone, sorry, the real Roy Harper will end up becoming Arsenal. Hmm. A lot of people seem to think that as well. I can see that happening. Um, I can actually see, since he's like missing an arm, and I'm kind of going out on a limb here, 
but <laughs> no pun intended. I could see him maybe like getting a mechanical arm and kind of being like the this kind of shows Winter Soldier. <laughs> Possibly like that's the closest thing I can really think of to you know a kind of well-known character missing an arm possibly gets a bionic arm and continues with the superhero business yeah so. we'll see yeah um, and then of course that was the the two major storylines that we'd mentioned were uh you know the the four flashes and roy harper roy harper was featured i think for total probably like five minutes <laughs> of the show most of the show was dedicated to the flashes which i felt like was good wow it gave, it was it was good character development for um wally west and bard allen all introducing more of the story elements with the destruction of earth, or devastation i'm sorry of earth and uh i also like how you you saw neutron there yeah both in the beginning and at the end of the show so i want i'm really interested though in what kind of happened because yeah. I'm pretty sure Bart knows, and that's why he came back. Mm. And obviously, he also came back to stop the death of Flash. I agree with you, though. He is like, like he's he's he's, like, he's kind of acting. Yeah, he's, he's very whimsical. Acting. And I I can't wait to see how that plays out. Except yeah. for this goes into one of my concerns with the show, is that they have a lot of potential plots, and I feel the same way about Avengers: Earth Mightiest Heroes, is that they have so many plot opportunities. Like they can go with, for Avengers at least, they can go with scrolls. Civil War, um, Kang, etc. And now this show, they can go with the invasion, which might be tied into this. Still, the things with the light, um, the whole thing with the six members disappearing. Hmm. Then you have now this. The well, they did. They did mention the six members disappearing. Was uh, they attacked a bunch of stuff. Yeah, but that might be a whole another bigger plot line. Like Hmm. there's. There's just so many things, and then, like White Sheep, White sorry, White Sheep said, possible crisis. That maybe. seems to wrap up storylines really well. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? We will see. New Fifty Two did a good job of doing that, didn't it? Oh yeah, and then it just restarted things a lot more complex. <laughs> yeah. So. I kind of like that this show is doing its own thing. Yeah, me too. I think it's a good idea that they decided to go to a different universe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yep. So what would you give it, White Sheep? I give it a 9 out of 10. 9 or an, out of 10. An A minus. Well, I am a very big Flash fan. I've been following Flash for years. That's probably why. If you've not noticed, I'm a big Wally West fan. More than anything as Flash. Wally West. Then uh, Barry. Then Bart. And then Jay. Because I, I don't consider Jay really... The f- a flash flash Fla- sorry a flash flash i consider him on a whole nother level just <laughs> out of the fact that you know he was the first he's the oldest yeah he's uh what is it you just mentioned this is like or like before we started recording this like he's 97 in this episode yeah he's like he's supposed to be yeah because in the like whole before season two before they went to the future thing he was like 92 so he would be like 97 98 now he's which too is old ridiculous. to be running around in a tin hat and skin tight suit yeah. But or at least, you know, blue jeans and a shirt. Yeah, but he's probably, like, the only real Golden Age. Is it Golden Age, right? Yeah, he's still he's Golden He's age. my favorite Golden Age DC character. Also, he's not gay. Yeah. Always good. I'm kind of... <laughs> I'm mixed They're not feelings. changing his origin story at all. His weakness has become his lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. Would. But, yeah, I've done the wrong with that. It's just... It's kind of a, a fan favorite old character that they've yeah. changed up. It doesn't... I don't know. Maybe we'll make a video on this later. It's, mm. it's mixed feelings. Well, not really mixed, but more negative. But I have my own reasons for why. And I'm not, I don't hate on gays or anything. It's just, no hating on the gays. There's an actual reason why I kind of... You're changing an established character. That's not cool. Well, yeah, that, but also there's there's a reason under that reason. So, yeah. I guess maybe we'll make a video later on ch- about ch- how companies like changing characters... Yes probably talk about miles morales too miles but yeah um this has been oh i have to give it a score uh 9.5 out of 10 wonderful so the only real issue i had the episode was maybe i don't know just not 
I felt they kind of did. I mean, I know you, thirty minutes is not a long time to develop like a lot of a plot. But the one negative for me was that throughout like the course of like the like other episodes of this show, we've seen them tackle a bunch of different like they've they've seemed to have handled more characters efficiently. And this one, it kind of felt like you're focusing on like really two two plots, so two just two characters issues. When that's the only negative, it's not really a negative. It's just that they could have done more. So, you know, still, uh, that's probably the only thing holding it back for me. Yeah, I feel the only thing that I really kind of didn't like about this episode was the fact that you know I felt Neutron was kind of taken care of fast. And mm. I'm actually not like that's not really a big deal for me, considering the fact that you see later on Bart and Neutron of the future had a plan to actually shut down his powers. So it's kind of like I don't really mind now, but I felt that was what is the word why she was oh, like convenient. Yeah, kind of could be like a, a easy way out to kind of like end the end the threat. So yeah, but. Besides that, I really enjoyed the episode myself. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. I like the uh, the four generations thing. That was cool. Yeah, brought brought tears to my eyes, memories. Mm. But I also yeah. do like the uh, the one line from Clone Roy Harper. It's like, should I be worried that our baby loves the ultra violence? <laughs> yeah, I, I I did like that one. It's genetic. Also, we got some new words that I'm gonna be slinging around, like crashing the mode. Yeah. So mode. Is this is crash. Yeah, so this review is Crash. Please. We hope you think so. And if you think it's Crash, you will like and subscribe and comment, or else that would be mode. Yes, do those three magical things of liking, commenting, and subscribing. And yeah, this is Hybrid. And this is Wachi. And thanks for viewing.